Hello Acron fans, and welcome to this version 1.5.0.0 patch overview video. This patch is mostly for support for modifications, improvements to the class file XML and to the scripts, allowing for much more flexibility in the timeline and in many other aspects, weapon timing and actions, lots of different things. An example of these new modifications is in the new EXP mod which has now some additional timeline information. As we see, unit deaths are now represented in pink bars on the unit's killed line, while research is represented by purple bars in the unit's constructed line. These are good examples of how the timeline stats can be modified. Fairly simple and early, but still good and illustrative of what can be done, and how much more information can be added to the timeline. Most visible changes are fairly minor, however there are some, mostly focused on the level editor, where we have now more options for the timeline and for the chrono energy. Time wave options have been added for the furthest past edge and the unplayable past edge, allowing for propagation to work from there. As well, there's options to have a new mode where chrono energy is now dependent on what your opponent is doing and what you are doing. Whenever you act or your opponent acts, your opponent or you, respectively, gets chrono energy. Kind of like with some versions of Tetris, where in the two-player mode, when you complete rows, it ends up passing blocks to your opponents, but this is the opposite, where your actions actually help your opponent rather than hampering them. For changes that are much more visible, emission maps have been added to the game, so now some textures can glow of their own light, rather than relying on simple reflected light. It's been added to some of the textures on the space station levels, as well as the volcano levels. You see the lava is glowing quite nicely here. This is a nice change since it means that lava can glow independent of being lit, so shadows can be better cast and more interesting lighting can be used, while still making lava look like lava. Another change has been that Bloom and Depth of Field have been modified to be more correct. They were done in a much more hacky way in earlier versions, but now it's much more accurate. As well, there is a manual focus control for depth of field. This is both within the level editor for preview and also in the skin code so you can have cutscenes use depth of field. Now, of course, depth of field is a fairly expensive effect, so not everyone is going to have it. But for those that do, it does look pretty nice. Normally, it's on autofocus, which just causes only background objects to go out of focus when you're close to a foreground object. Otherwise, most everything is in focus to avoid getting in the way and distracting the player. This has been for some time, but I've never really gone over it in too much detail before. That's about it for the version 1.5.0.0 patch overview video. You can see the rest of the patch notes on the acrongame.com website, and can download the game from acrongame.com or wherever you purchased it. Have fun storming the timeline!